hello all uh, welcome to my youtube channel so in this tutorial uh, we will be creating uh, amazon lex bot and then we will be integrating with uh, some other aws services so as we know nlp which is natural language processing is a common use case for machine learning and so we will learn uh, how to use amazon lex to create a chatbot that users can interact with and to create a dental appointment as an example so the high level overview of this tutorial is we will create and test bot by using amazon lex schedule appointment blueprint so we will not going to build a chat bot from scratch we will use a blueprint which is available by uh, aws then we will create and test an amazon lambda function to perform initiation validation and fulfillment tasks then we will configure the uh, our intent to use uh, our lambda function as a code hook and then we will test the bot in console and we will deploy that or we will integrate it with Amazon S3 uh, to host it as a static website and users can interact with the bot through that website. Okay, so let's proceed. So first of all, we have to create and test bot locally or on console. So now we are on Amazon Lex console and we will use uh, V1 so that is version one of the this service so we will use this blueprint and then we have to configure some basic settings yes so after that uh, we will test our bot so this is pre-built okay so i will also explain what this uh, all uh, uh, features uh, that are there what does they mean so for that we will go one by one so first of all so the sample utterances means uh, the spoken or type phrases that invoke our intent okay then the second is uh, lambda initiation and validation so basically this means the business logic it is required to validate uh, the user's input and then the context means carries context from one intent to another using a combination of inputs and output tags and then uh, output tags means uh, set the output context that is this intent that any intent that supports it of our first build is ready we can test it so there are some prompts that we can use okay so as you can see here uh, it's mentioned that I would like to book an appointment or book an appointment. So it asks us about what type of appointment uh, that we would like to schedule. So let's suppose uh, we use this statement a root canal. So then it asks us like when I schedule your root canal, then let's suppose we provide the date. So I am giving just a random date. So then it's asked about the specific time that we want to schedule the uh, our root canal appointment. Then let's say 4 p.m. Okay. And it's asked us for confirmation if we provide yes. Uh, so it has uh, scheduled our appointment. This, this is a type of like a little bit rudimentary where we have to provide all the prompts our own uh, so to automate that we can use a lambda function okay so uh, pre-configured we don't have to write from scratch we will use lambda function to automate this task so let's move ahead we will use a blueprint for that and so let's create a function so this lambda function will act as a hook it will be triggered okay we'll use a blueprint and for that we can use lex and we will use this one make an appointment with lex and let's suppose give some name and yes this is the name and then uh, we have to configure an IAM role. So we will say we will create a new role and we will give name as my 
x okay and yeah so this is the function that we get from this blueprint okay and it automates all the prompts that i was giving manually okay yes so now we will create this function and once our function is ready so we will test it uh, then i will also show you the difference and then we will update so the intent of our bot yeah so we will test first and see so it succeeded okay it means we can use this uh, function so yeah now uh, on this page uh, we have to integrate th that lambda function that we created with our uh, amazon lex bot so we have to mention that here okay and then uh, for fulfillment also we have to select lambda function okay we have to save it save all the changes and then we will again build the bot this will take a minute or two to build it. so it's still in the building phase so now our uh, updated bot is built so now what we can do we will just test it once more okay now it's asking me so like i don't have to provide the prompts again and again so the bot is providing all the available options so we have to just select any one option and it will schedule our appointment so that's why we use the pre-built lambda function so we don't have to make our own function for that it's there we just have to use it uh, integrate that with our uh, bot so let's suppose i am selecting root canal here and it will again provide me some more option in that so the date and uh, time and all so it it has scheduled one appointment we will publish this bot okay so we will give it a alias and then now we will incorporate this bot into a web page okay so for that we will use first of all amazon s3 to host that static website and then we will use amazon cognito identity pool okay so cognito is uh, one of the identity management service in aws so identity pool lets us get temporary credentials to access the aws services for sign in users or for the guest users as well okay so now once our bot is published we'll close this message and we'll search for cognito service and yes so we have to select the identity pools we will create one identity pool we will select the guest access next then we will uh, we have to give a name for an im role okay then the name for our identity pool next so again we have to make some changes in our one of im role Our identity pool is created and so in our uh, HTML code so we have to add this uh, identity pool ID in that so to integrate it uh, with our website yes so uh, we will select the roles and in that we have to update my identity pool role so we have to update that role So in that we have to select uh, two policies we have to add them the first is amazon lex read only yeah so first is amazon lex read only and the second is amazon lex run bots only so that uh, other aws services can uh, access uh, or let's say talk to each other that's why we assign a role and give the uh, necessary permissions
okay then uh, we will create one s3 bucket and in that we will upload two files first is uh, index.html and the second is error.html We'll give a unique name to our bucket. Then you don't have to do much configurations here. Yeah, so we will upload two files index.html and error.html. So first this is index.html and then we will upload error.html as well. Uh, so once the files are uploaded, uh, we will test it uh, from uh, the web page itself. And before that, we have to make uh, make one more change in our S3 bucket. That is, we have to add bucket policy. So in that bucket policy, uh, we will allow public to read our objects. We have to also configure this bucket uh, to host a static website. So for that, in properties, so we have to enable this option which is static website hosting. We have to mention the file names index.html and error.html Yes. Then in permissions, we have to create one bucket policy. We'll click on edit. And here we have to provide our uh, S3 bucket name, which is my Lex tutorial. Yes, and we will just save it. After that, we can uh, visit our static web page from the URL that is provided. So now once we get our uh, static page URL from S3, we can test our bot. Uh, so let's suppose we say make an appointment. Okay, so it's uh, giving us option uh, to uh, specify a particular appointment type. So let's say whitening, I will select and then a particular date okay, it's not available so it will provide us another date and a time so yeah it's saying 4 30 pm is available and yeah so this was so like uh, i will just conclude this tutorial uh, we first of all created one amazon lex bot then we configured it we tested it uh, from a blueprint then we uh, integrated it with uh, M lambda function uh, which was pre-configured then we used identity pools uh, to give guest access to the users and then we hosted uh, this uh, web page on amazon s3 as a static web page that's it from my side thanks for watching